Hello, this is Heather Whitman, curator at the Highlands Museum and Discovery Center in Ashland. Tomorrow, on March 21st, is National Quilt Day. And while we here at the museum had originally planned to have some celebration to go along with that, we are, unfortunately, like most everyone else, closed until further notice. So I thought, in honor of National Quilt Day, I would walk you through some of the quilts we currently have on display. First up here, we have one known as the flower garden pattern. It's also sometimes called mosaic or honeycomb. This quilt is from about 1859. However, variations of a hexagon-like quilt, such as this one, date back to the 1700s. Next up, this one is called Dutch Rose. We believe this one is from about the 1870s. And this pattern was brought to America by Dutch immigrants. Um, we actually had a quilt historian look at this quilt a few years ago and she kept saying how weird it was. Um, she found it very confusing and she finally figured out why it looks so weird. And the reason is that there are uh, fabrics from two different centuries featured here. The green and the red are from about the 1860s. And then the pattern pieces here on the star are from the 1940s. So clearly a quilter at some point has gone back and repaired this one, luckily for us. Next up, we have one of my favorite types of quilts. This is called a crazy quilt. And it is called this because there is not a pattern to a crazy quilt. Um, you will never see two crazy quilts that are exactly alike. And although it appears there isn't much planning involved, Crazy Quilts actually required a great deal of planning to make sure that they would all fit together, all the different pieces. This is very popular in the Victorian era. This particular example is from about the 1890s. And these were show pieces. Um, they typically uh, decorated them with lots of embroidery, as you can see here. This one actually at one time said Catlicksburg and they used very luxurious scrap pieces of fabric such as silk um, or velvet. And last but not least, we have the double wedding ring quilt. Um, this particular one is from the 1920s, and that is also about the time that the first pattern for this quilt was published. Um, it was very popular as a wedding gift. Um, again, the idea of the interlocking circles is a motif that has existed in history much longer than that. Um, it's just been around for a very long time, that idea of the interlocking circles being a symbol of love. This is a pattern that was, again, very popular as a wedding gift and very common during the Great Depression because quilters thought it was a great way to use up scrap pieces instead of having to buy new fabric. So again, this exhibit is on our main floor. It's called Handcrafted. It's going to be up at least through April. Um, we're hoping into part of May. So hopefully when things get back to normal, everyone can come and see these quilts in person. In the meantime, please stay home as much as you possibly can. Be safe and wash your hands. Thanks, take care.